might talk a big game, but I can be a bit of a fraidy cat. You don't have to go out into the big bad world in order to be scared. Here are some things right in my house that really freak me out. Unplugging plugs. One time, a few months ago, I was unplugging my computer cord and my thumb was a little wet and happened to slip into the socket just a little bit. Needless to say, I got zapped bad. Time even stopped for a couple seconds. That junk really hurt and my thumb was tingling for an hour. Ever since that, I'm afraid of unplugging anything and I get someone else to do it whenever I can. If I can't get someone to do it, I use a combination of my feet and pulling on the cord to get things done. Scary commercials on TV. This gets especially bad around Halloween time. I don't even need to see the movie to get scared because the commercials are enough. Every time they come on, I say, la 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 la. It might be juvenile, but it's effective. When my dog barks at the door, but no one's there. Mayonnaise. Anyone who spends time with me in real life knows how much I hate mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise, even the thought of it. So much so that it's banished from being in my house. There can't be any jars or packets anywhere because having those around, it makes me uneasy. Mayonnaise just isn't right, man. The weird tangy sour smell, that weird greasy feeling it leaves on your hands, the color, the way it jiggles. But every once in a while, mayonnaise will make its way into my house and I am legitimately scared that it's going to get on me. P.S. Mayonnaise jokes in the comments are not cool. Spiders. Spiders know I am terrified because they always try to drop down on me from my ceiling fan. It's like they wait for me to sit down and then they try to spider me in their way down right onto my head. But I always sense the danger somehow and jump out of the way just in time. But this doesn't make it any less scary. Then I try to kill it and this and now it's running around loose and mad at me in my own house and I'm terrified my bed covers because there is definitely a spider under there waiting to bite my foot the shower because there is definitely a spider in there waiting to get me as soon as i close my eyes to wash my face the closet when it is cracked open just a little bit all the way open i'm fine all the way closed I'm fine. But when that closet is cracked open part way, I can't stop glancing at it because I know there was something in there that is watching me until I finally get out of bed to close it and then everything magically goes away. And lastly, the bathroom mirror. All the scary movies have somebody look in the bathroom mirror, look down, look back up, and then they see something absolutely terrifying. For a while, I was scared to use the bathroom at night. I thought something would get me for sure. But now I'm a little better. I will go in there, but I won't look in the mirror, and then I run out of there like something is chasing me. That's how I survive. Listen, I might be a little bit of a fraidy cat, but these are some things that legitimately scare me in my own house. So please comment about puppies and kittens below. This is Jen Adventures TV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another day with another video. Okay, bye.